Yes, Berliners, under the protection of Allied troops, go about their daily tasks, well aware that their divided city has been pounced upon by Khrushchev as his frail reason for resuming atom bomb tests. They know, as President Kennedy said, that Khrushchev is testing more than bombs. He is testing the will and determination of the free world through atomic blackmail. Nevertheless, no one is going to stop a British schoolboy from going to classes if it takes every one of England's troops in Berlin. They stand by to convoy Erwin Shave, age 12. He lives in a section of West Berlin surrounded by red territory except for an eight-foot lane. One day, East German soldiers stepped from the weeds and told him to go home. His parents complained, and Her Majesty's troops took over. Daily, the harassment by the East Germans goes on. They have sealed off famed St. Hedwig's Cathedral, and West Germans can no longer worship at the church where their forefathers were christened and were buried. The communists have never learned that they can never erect a wall between the faithful and their God. The boots of East German soldiers on never-ending patrol sound a tattoo of oppression. Love conquers the Ulbricht Wall. A young couple in East Berlin, separated from the bride's mother in the West, wave to the tearful woman. Scenes of heartbreak that are daily occurrence as families are torn apart by the wall of hate. The tears of a mother, the sadness of a bride. That is Berlin today. <laughs>